Hello and good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on the time you're watching it. Representing our guerrilla marketing campaign by Hena Nakam, Jess Rogers, Bruna Medeiros, Laura de Espriella, Jada Lee, and Susana Ortiz Valdez. Today we will go over our theme, our imagery, the campaign implementation, our target market, divided into demographics and psychographics, the campaign feasibility, and statements that add to the campaign in a summary. We want to thank you for your time, and we hope that with our campaign, we can do a little bit of a difference to bring action and to improve our community. Thank you. The theme of our guerrilla marketing campaign comes from one of the ideas explored during the MLK Legacy Day event. The speaker talked about this broad idea of community, but to go deeper into this topic, she discussed the importance of acknowledging people of color and their stories. We are currently experiencing a racial pandemic where people of color are not being respected and their opinions and voices are not being heard. This led us to our theme of colorblindness. When people are colorblind, they are actually denying the existence of systemic racism. Our message to our audience is don't be colorblind, be color aware. Because when we are color aware, we are no longer being ignorant. When we are color aware, it allows us to actually address racism. We are recognizing and appreciating people of color and this helps us build a stronger community. With our campaign's image, we really wanted to illustrate the term racial pandemic. Therefore, we included an emblematic element of the COVID-19 pandemic, the mask, and used it to cover the eyes, signaling color blindness. Not only is the image captivating because it causes confusion as to why the mask is covering the top portion of the face, but it also invites people to remove their mask and embrace racial diversity. For us, this pandemic, the racial pandemic, is avoided by removing our mask. And to be clear, we don't condone the misuse of masks. For our campaign plan, we will be using posters and laptop stickers. The purpose of this is that the posters will be highly visible and will be posted on the entrance of each academic building and dorm. Underneath each poster, you will be able to find a basket full of stickers that people can just grab and take and then be able to post them on the cover of their laptops. An additional idea that we have referring to the stickers are that a group of people will be assigned to sit in a public area with their laptops out. Each laptop will have the sticker pasted on the cover. Of course, people will be walking by and they'll see how everybody has this same sticker and they'll question the reason behind it. They will feel intrigued to find out why they have these stickers in their laptops. Our target market occupies predominantly white institutions, also known as PWIs. Specifically, we are targeting college students and professors at four-year institutions. We are targeting prospective and current undergraduate students within the 18 to 24 age range. Typically, students who attend PWIs are socioeconomically privileged. We are targeting this market to challenge stereotyped preconceptions and to aid them in effectively communicating and working with people of diverse backgrounds. Additionally, we are targeting college and university professors at PWIs to help them become aware of their implicit biases and how they influence the achievement of their students. The majority of professors at PWIs are white males who may not seek diverse perspective in the classroom. Because defining a target market includes more than just demographics, we also have to look at the psychographic characteristics of those we are targeting. First and foremost, we are looking for college students and professors who are willing to listen to our argument and make a self-evaluation. Without this fundamental baseline, our efforts of diversity and inclusion will fall on deaf ears as we strive to create more comfortable environments for all. We also recognize that we are targeting people who are dedicated to higher education and to a successful job and career as a whole. Further, our market includes a group of people who tend to have extremely busy lives. Because our goal is educational, we also want to identify those who may not have much exposure to racial diversity or those who don't recognize their racial biases, whether intentionally or not. Regarding campaign feasibility, we first analyze what are the costs associated with our campaign. The costs are the printing of posters, the printing of laptop stickers, transportation of those, the purchase of baskets and tape. So we calculated an average price for each product or each material. 
And for some of those, we allow the range because it really depends on what kind of supplier we are reaching out to. For posters, we calculate an average of $15 for one unit. For the printing of stickers, it can either go from $0.03 cents to $0.63 cents each. It varies according to printing company. And while it is a big difference, we will make sure we'll find the cheapest option possible. Transportation costs, that really varies according to the volume of our sales or volume of the things we purchase. And baskets, which can either go from $1.98 to $8 each. And it varies according to the material of the basket. Lastly, the price of tape, which is just regular scotch tape, is around $11.10. That's the price of the market. And that's just the main tape that we'll be using to stick the posters to the walls. Now, the challenges of implementation. Logistics-wise, the main challenge that we have is just ensure, ensuring timely transportation and shipping. Um, besides that, we don't see logistics as a big problem. Rather, the only other challenge with implementation is just making sure that our marketing campaign is actually successful and that people see our posters with the basket and actually get the stickers from it and actually stick it to the computers. So those are two main challenges. Ultimately, we strive to heighten the awareness of implicit biases caused by color blindness, helping others become aware of the racial disparities experienced by people of color will allow others to acknowledge their contribution to the racial pandemic. Knowledge and awareness of injustices experienced by people of color will encourage others to take action to promote a more equitable environment. Although accepting that racism still exists is a hard pill to swallow for some, we hope to spark conversations that result in an outpour of effort towards ending racial disparity. With that, we will leave you with this quote by Audre Lorde. It is not our differences that divide us. It is our inability to recognize, accept, and celebrate those differences. Thank you for listening.